Hey everyone, in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to add your very own program to the Windows File Explorer context menu. The context menu is basically when you right click a file, you can see a bunch of stuff open. I will teach you how to make edit with your program show up here and you can edit it to be whatever you want, whatever you want to happen will happen when you click it. So first of all, open your favorite ID as administrator, make sure it has administrator first. So I'll just open Visual Studio code and right click run as administrator. Now just open up any, um, any Python file, just create a new Python file. And I named mine registry.py, I already have it set up. And now open command prompt and pip install win registry. Okay, after you have done that, import winreg as reg. We will be needing this module to modify the registry because we will need to modify the registry to be able to add it. So before we start, so you understand a bit about how this will work and what we are actually doing. Uh, I will show you a bit on uh, how the registry works and stuff. If you do not want to see this, just skip forward a bit uh, until I stop talking about the registry. So basically the registry, you can open it by typing registry. Then. Yeah, open it. It has a lot, and I mean a lot of information. So we will be needing to add our program in the H key root folder, so classes root, slash asterisk, slash shell. So you can see in here, there is open with CLINE. CLINE is a C++ IDE and uh, I use it. So you can see it is here, it has a default, an icon which says edit with client, the icon uh, and the command which will open up uh, the application. So we will need to create something like this in the registry. Now, to do this, we will first define the path. So the key path will be equal to asterisk slash slash shell slash slash. And here, just name name it whatever you want. I recommend naming it your program, like what the name of your program will be. I just name it test program. Okay. Now let's make another key path, which will be the uh, path to the command folder, you can see that there's a command subfolder, we need that as well. So just command key path equals R, the same pass, asterisk, slash shell, slash test program, oh, two slashes, slash, slash command. Now let's actually turn these variables into key paths. So key will be equal to reg.createKey. As arguments, we will pass in uh, reg dot the root folder. So which one is it? Classes h key underscore classes underscore root. And the second argument will be our key path. Now let's create another key path for the command key path. So command key will be equal to reg.createKey, reg.h key classes root and command key path. And now we can start creating stuff in our uh, folders. So the default should be named whatever you want it to say. So for example, open with or edit with or whatever you want it to say. So reg.set value, uh, the key, this key, make sure not to confuse, make sure not to pass in the key path variable here. You have to pass in the actual key variable, which is the create key function. So key, uh, second argument should be the uh, should be empty. We don't because we want it to be the default. The type reg dot reg sz, and the value. Now this is what it will say. So for example, edit with test program, okay, or open with test program. It doesn't matter what you put, but this is what it will say. And also, don't worry, you can modify all of this. So uh, you shouldn't, you can also remove it. So don't worry. Now let's create, uh, this is optional, but if you want an icon, I will show you how to make one now. So we need to set another value, but this time we won't be setting the default value. So make sure not to use the set value command, but the set value X command. So the arguments will be pretty similar. Key, Q, 
here it shouldn't be empty it should be icon because we don't want it to be the default you can see here there's an icon uh the second should be a zero which would be the type of file like this is a string you can see new string value binary val value there's a lot of values so we want it to be string so zero the second argument should be reg dot reg sz the same as above and now here the path to either a dot ico file or a dot exe file uh i just i don't have an icon to put right now so you can just uh if you have an icon just put it in here and make sure it starts with an r so like c slash your program dot exe something like this it should look and that's how you make an icon I'm j i'll just comment this out for now because i don't want an icon now uh we have to make the command so what will happen when you write when you click the edit with test program this is what we will be defining now so reg dot set value make sure not set value x and set value command key not the normal key and this should be empty because we want it to be default reg dot reg sz and now this is what will happen when you right click it um i mean when you click it yeah you can put in the path to an exe so i'll just put in the path to my um to my json id which is open source and you can download in the, with the link in the description uh so the exe will, is here what oops just get the path and put it in here make sure there is an r uh, before here and yep this should be it so now if you run this uh if you get a uh, win error five that uh, access is denied make sure to re restart your id with as administrator so let's just run it f5 and no errors so it worked if we right click a file right now let's just right click gid.py edit with your test edit with test program there is no icon because we didn't set one but if you did it should show up here if you restart the registry and you go to uh, computer slash hk classes root slash asterisk slash shell slash whatever you named uh, the folder so test program you should see that it is here and the default is edit with test program you can modify this by double clicking on default uh, there is also a command subfolder here which is the command you can also modify this and if you want to remove it just right click here on the test program delete it. so that's it now you know how to add your program to the windows file menu context um if you found this helpful don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and as always thanks for watching